Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a very short piece of writing, an individual paragraph. And what we're going to do here is look for areas where we can improve the ideas. There may be other errors that we may find within this paragraph, but we're going to focus in only on the ideas and seek only to improve those particular areas. This piece of writing would be an individual paragraph that would go in an essay. This could be an introduction paragraph. It has some of those attributes. Or it could be a body paragraph because it holds some of those attributes as well. Where this is going to be helpful to you is in that editing and revising step of the writing process. This is going to help you to look at a rough draft piece of writing, to locate areas for improvement, and then to move that closer to being the final draft. So let's take a look at the ideas here and find where could we improve our ideas in this piece. Kids in high school know what they're doing. At this point in our lives, we have a good idea of where we are going with our lives. Most of us already know if we want to have kids or not. Also, we know if we want to get married and settle down or if we want to be single. Another thing we know is what we want to do with our lives. We know if we want to work in the medical field or in education or do something else. We may not know the specific details of exactly what we want to do, but we have a general idea. High schools should let us choose our own classes. Okay, so let's take a look here and look specifically at where could we make some improvements. So one place is up here in the introductory sentence, our very first sentence. Kids in high school know what they're doing. Now this sentence could be left on its own, but if you're going to have a very simple sentence like that, then you'd better have a very powerful sentence as your number two sentence coming up. So let's take a look at that one. At this point in our lives, we have a good idea of where we are going with our lives. Now I think that this is a little bit questionable. First we've got a good idea and where we're going with our lives. I think that a lot of people would disagree that that's necessarily the case that teenagers know exactly what they're doing. So for this person, for this particular writer, I would say give me some more specifics because at this point it seems like it may be untrue or maybe it's true for a very small percentage of the population but not necessarily for everyone. Let's take a look at the next sentence. Most of us already know if we want to have kids or not. Okay, again, we have a simple sentence up here at the beginning in sentence number one, and now we have another simple sentence here in sentence number three. That's two simple sentences almost backed up each, against each other within this paragraph. I would say that the ideas here are a little bit too weak. They really need to be strengthened. So whether or not people want to have kids, okay, do people at 16 or 17 really know this? Maybe so, maybe not, but to be able to defend that in an essay, you need to strengthen up those ideas. So what is it about teenagers that makes them understand this information, this incredibly important decision so early in life? Let's take a look at the next paragraph, or excuse me, sentence, sentence number four. Also, we know if we want to get married and settle down or if we want to be single. So again, we have another simple sentence here, and it's also including very simple ideas. These two sentences, sentences three and four, may be combined, and to take these two ideas and combine them down as well, because you have this idea of having kids, and then you have this idea of whether to be married or whether to be single. So a recommendation that I would make to the student is to take those ideas and combine them down, but get really specific as to why. Why is it that a person who would be so young, 14, 15, 16 years old, how would that person really know if they want to be single or married in 20 years or in 40 years even? Let's take a look at the next sentence, sentence number five here. Another thing we know is what we want to do with our lives. We know if we want to work in the medical field or in education or do something else. So this, as an adult, I would say is actually pretty impossible. I think that there are probably some kids out there who really do know what they want to do from the time that they're young teenagers, but what I find to be more true is that when kids are in college, that's when they tend to realize what they want to do. 
And as we know, at this point in America, most people change careers at least five times within their adult life. So you may start out in the medical field, but then you may go to education, and then later on you may go to something else, such as business. So with this, I might even give some examples. Instead of being broad and vague, give some really specific details as to how is it that students so young know what it is that they want to do with their lives? Is there something particular that's happened to these people that they would know this information? Let's take a look at the next sentence here, sentence number six. We may not know the specific details of exactly what we want to do, but we have a general idea. I think the sentence is actually really useful because here the student is admitting that they don't necessarily know anything. This demonstrates a level of humility which I think is really useful for this particular paragraph. It kind of brings the paragraph back down to earth. This is useful here, but giving more information as to why and how could be really helpful here to strengthen up those ideas. Let's take a look at our last sentence. High school should let us choose our own classes. Okay, so here we have a solution, okay, which is fantastic. This gives us an idea as to where the paper is going, where the writer is going to go into the next paragraph. I would expect after this to find the following paragraph or even the following several paragraphs all about this solution that high school should allow students to choose their own classes or maybe even to design their own classes. That would be my expectation as a reader. As a reader, though, I would really like to see the ideas throughout the page, though. I'd like to see a stronger introductory sentence here at the beginning. I'd like to see broader use of vocabulary to get those ideas across. I'd like to see really specific information, like how would these people know such important information so early on in life? So I want to see some details. I want to see something that's really specific. Is there a um, statistical analysis that can back this up? Is there a medical study that can show that this is true? Where can we find this information to make it sound true? Because at this point, it sounds like it's mostly just opinion of one student's experience. So how can we make this more true for a lot of people's experiences? These are the areas that I would suggest that this student would improve upon to improve those ideas. Hopefully this is helpful to you in your own writing so that you can look for some places in your writing to improve upon your ideas. I hope this is helpful to you. Good luck.